Dead bodies sprawled over Gaza's streets. Children lay close to the adults who were trying to protect them, victims of Israel's military assault. There is no safe place here for people to run to. I have come from Shujaya. It's total destruction. The Israelis are burning everything. They're pounding the entire area, forcing people out. My brothers and sisters, I want to talk to you about oppression and resistance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, من أجل ذلك كتبنا على بني إسرائيل أنه من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا and we decree to the children of Israel that if anyone kills a person unless in retribution for murder or spreading corruption in the land then it is as if he kills all of mankind I don't want to waste your time my brothers and sisters let's go straight to the point Look at who this verse came down to, Bani Israel. Why? Because they have a track record in this insanity. Wallahi, read the Quran properly. Understand what Allah tells us about these people. They find it so easy and natural, subhanAllah, to do what they do. For unjustly killing their prophets, for saying, our hearts are closed. Allah gave them a specific warning not to kill, knowing this about them, but they didn't stop. Look at them today. Look at the way that they massacre. They blow up babies like as if it's a computer game. They have no humanity, no morality, no ethics, no deen, no guidance, no light, nothing. So don't be surprised from what's going on out there from them. We expect nothing less from them. And they're killing the prophets without any right. Allah says, to murder the best of people walking on the prophets, that's what they did. So, 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 so what of a few Arabs and their kids yani, these days? So, so what? Allah tells them. Even after that, your hearts became as hard as rocks. No, no, even harder. And so with their hearts closed, dead, emotionless, like stones. So what's left after that? So good luck to them. They will see in the Akhirah. Wallahi, they will see. So there's nothing new there. Let's talk about the resistance. Let's talk about our heroes instead. Allah says, Alif Lam Mim. Ahasib al Nasu an yutraku. An yakulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun. In Surah Al Ankabut, Allah says, Hey, you listen up. Alif Lam Mim, to get your attention. Hey, you listen up. Do people think they will be left alone after saying, We believe, without being put to the test? So if you say, I'm a believer, folks, you better expect your test. And different believers get different tests according to their level with Allah. How good they are with Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested the prophets most. The Prophet ﷺ said the people most severely tested are the prophets. ثم الأمثل فالأمثل Then the next best people and then the next best people. So when you look around and see the believers all around the world going through such difficult times, you better believe that as they continue to strive for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practice that deen, our deen, despite those trials, they are next level people compared to us. They are meant to be motivating us, a shining example to us through their Iman and their Sabr and their Taqwa and their Tawakkul. That doesn't matter whether they're, whether they're our brothers and sisters in Pakistan who are bombed in their sleep by US drone strikes, or our people in Rohingya being burnt alive by Buddhist monks, or the Sunnis being slaughtered in Iraq and, and, and Syria at the hands of ISIS, or those in the Central African Republic being literally butchered by militant Christians or Ahl Sunnah being murdered in Yemen or Iran or Egypt by again so-called Muslims or the innocent being massacred by the Murtad Bashar Assad and then the rest of the believers being trialed in various ways it's not always murder and death and destruction various tests and trials around the, around the world even here in the West have no doubt my brothers and sisters that these people with their patience and trust in a decree and ultimate justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are true and clean believers they are clean the Prophet said that these tests will keep coming upon the people, the best of people, until they're able to walk in the earth and they don't even have upon them a khati'ah, a single sin, a single sin. These are some of the most unbelievably strong people we will ever witness in our lives. May Allah bless them and reward them and accept their dead. Ashuhada. Wallahi, for the sake of Allah and the Muslims and in defense of the Holy Lands, how they have to live and the kind of terror and torture and persecution that they have put up with. They're being tested the most we have ever seen. You know what that means? That they're the best of people. That means Allah loves them. Allah loves these people, my brothers and sisters. Allah loves them. The question though, is this Allah love you? Does he love me? Because you're a believer, right? What, you, you thought you escaped the test as well? 
your test is to see just how seriously are you returning back to Allah whilst witnessing this, seeking forgiveness and rushing to do what Allah loves from you more than anything else. You know what that is? The obligatory actions. There's so many of those. And believe me that the very, very least of those actions in this case, for this cause, is to support your brothers and sisters by at the very least raising money for their aid, holding your elected representatives accountable, signing every petition that comes your way, sign it, it doesn't matter yani, how rubbish it is or how poor it's written or who it comes from, it's according to action, act. Going out to these protests, go out there and show, show the people. The news, despite their best efforts, the media, they're trying to ignore it, but they can't. Because there are so many people out there that they want to know the truth. They need to be educated nicely, calmly, factually, with sensitivity, my brothers and sisters. Not the way that we're doing it. Horrible pictures of dead children, people blown in half. This is not our way. This is not the Sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ never did that with the dead. He covered them immediately. Look at, the, look at his Sunnah. When Hamza was killed, he was brutally mutilated. The Prophet ﷺ never let his family, he never let them see that body. Because we don't want to desensitize people, showing them horrors. People are turning off. I can't handle it. They can't handle it. Use a happy photo instead. Showing them in their be best uh, image, a happy memory that was killed and destroyed. Not the goriness, just keep educating. Describe the horror, but don't disrespect the dead. Make sure you spread this news. Speak to your neighbors, speak to your colleagues, speak to your work people, speak to your friends. They are good people out there that want to know and the pressure will come. Do not consider any of these small things in any way insignificant. Never la tahkiranna min al do not, Do not consider insignificant any action of good. Keep up this education. The world is full of decent people who want to end to this criminality, to this apartheid, to this massacre, to this illegal occupation. We have to make the wider world understand that it is we all, Muslims or Muslims, the wider society, who will suffer if we do not restore justice in the world of Allah. Because it is His, not theirs. It's His. This world is His. And these Palestinian people are His slaves. They are His beloved. Do they even realize that? I close my brothers and sisters. I end that we are being taught a lesson by our brothers and sisters in, Pal in Palestine, in Sham and all around the world on what Islam actually means, what it truly means to submit to the will of Allah. We have a lot to do to catch up to these people. And Wallahi starts right here with your dua for them in these blessed nights, all day, all night. Don't think Laytul Qadr is 27th al khalas. Every moment you can get in these remaining blessed times, use it. Your financial support for them by doing these believers proud, by improving in your practice of the deen that these people are sacrificing everything for. Your practice of the deen that these people are sacrificing everything for. Don't let them down. Ya Allah, forgive us for our deficiencies and protect the believers wherever they find themselves in the world. Allahumma a'li kalimat al-haqq wa al-deen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.